Hello students, upon the request of many students texting me on uh, uh, YouTube as well as Insta, they were asking me to work out the ground improvement technique which is for a GIT for civil engineering students under R18 regulation for part A and part B combination. Dear students, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe as well as share this content and support me by liking and commenting if you are looking for any other course. I have come up with few questions. I will be looking, I will be giving you a few gunshot questions. Please do not skip this as the syllabus is too short in its structure but whereas the questions were asked in depth here related to ground improvement technique and related to the applications of each and every parameter where the course is too small in its structure as per the syllabus but the questions are too lengthy in this in the question papers which have gone through uh, the previous years the first and foremost i can give you is the objectives and the scope of gi and the need of gi i mean uh, ground improvement purpose of compaction objectives of compacting soil is said to be a gunshot question related to compacting soil blasting techniques for uh, densification of granule related to densification of granule soil you are going to get one question for sure free swell index importance is a three mark two mark question various problematic soils that are encountered by an engineers any two methods is said to be a topmost and one shot question installation of compaction file may be a two mark three mark soil types and institute as well as laboratory set is said to be a 2a and 2b and 3a also carries from this part later strategies development for optimizing the the densification process of a ground is said to be a topmost question. Physical or chemical methods and its applications and vibro compaction methods, step by step procedure, and sketch the diagram as well as sometimes they are asking the differences between vibro compaction as well as dynamic compaction technique and shallow compaction technique. From this part, you will be getting at least a 5 mark or 2 mark, 3 mark question for sure this time. Dynamic taping field, the densification process, and thermal methods of stabilization by heating technique sketches dear students i have not cut all the questions here as per the syllabus i am in the unit wise i have gathered all the questions together please do follow and work out all these questions dewatering techniques is said to be a two mark three mark question cohesive soils along for a pre-loading technique with a neat sketch is said to be a topmost and gunshot question which may be 4a quality control for a clay columns in clay by vibrational method is also said to be a topmost question filtration and seepage control geosynthesis of soil is said to be a topmost question jet grouting is said to be a topmost and expected question this time pre-drainaging methods and the, for the vacuum wells and well points may be a two and three mark question single stage well point system as well as compaction grouting is said to be a three mark question for sure to define grouting techniques and the applications is a five mark question and ground improvement methods related to stone columns and line columns is also said to be one of the topmost question in the question paper methods of vibro flotation for compacting the granule soils under the heat vibrator at depth explain the term may be direct 10 mark question if this comes in the paper later pre-loading objectives dear student the course is all about the theory you are supposed to work out each and every parameter with a neat diagram wherever required as well as need to be written only in point wise do not write in paragraph wise sand drains and sand wicks and geo drains and the comparison among them ground anchoring mechanism is two mark three mark question thermal methods for stabilization by cooling technique pre-loading vertical drain along with a neat sketch is said to be a topmost and gunshot question electrokinetic approach of dewatering stripe versus bar versus mesh reinforcement and their applications is said to be a five mark question principles of soil densification through mechanical modification process is also said to be a five mark question these are the very important questions which I have taken into consideration by referring the previous year question papers and the syllabus copy of the course ground improvement techniques later the properties of backfill material used in soil reinforcement soil uh, uh, nailing system and its application is a two mark three mark question multi-stage well point dewatering system either a single stage or multi wedge related to its merits and demerits is also very important hydraulic modification of soil improvement by electro osmosis method is said to be a topmost question which you are going to expect this time in the question paper short uh, short creating technology three mark two mark question class c and class f fly ash is a five mark question benefits of providing reinforcement in the soil and knitting technology is two mark three mark question define grouting and the method of compact 
compaction grouting and the applications of grouting is said to be a topmost question rock bolting process and the application is a five mark in the effect of fly ash on strength characteristics a clay soil dear students you have less time to work out you are supposed to work out each and every parameter which i have highlighted here ascending method of grouting technique along with a neat sketch and the effectiveness of reinforcement with a strip and geogrid reinforcement steel is said to be a 10a question in the question paper this time do not forget to work out this practical relevance of ground anchors is said to be a 2 mark 3 mark and rock bolting is also a 2 mark 3 mark types of vertical drains and the uses is said to be a 3 mark question the various chemical admixtures used in sand and clay for ground improvement is also said to be a 10b question the benefits of providing reinforcement in soil properties of compacted soil by using mechanical modification technique is 11 question and the a question on the various applications of ground modification by inclusion and confinement process may be a b question dear students students who are taking this course should have a basic knowledge on geotechnical engineering as well as foundation engineering a basic minimum concepts failing which it is difficult for you and it is difficult to score good marks and in the better marks if you unless you write it very neatly in point wise and explaining their advantages and disadvantages along with a neat sketch in a point wise only dear students as this is a theory subject hope you are going to forward this with to this your share this content to your friends and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe as well as share good luck and god bless you all thank you